Welcome back, everybody. Dynamite intro. Mrs. Lush, just tremendous. Sweetheart, today the team has put together a tasty, eclectic a combination of videos to get our uh, jingles jollied. You ready to get your jollies jingled? That's what I meant. Your jollies jingled. Whatever you call it, sure. Yeah, yeah, I'm calling it. Let's see what we got here. What's your favorite snack right now? Mmm, it. Wow. Two things I have a problem with this video. The first is Cheez-Its Cheez are amazing. Oh. So you don't punish someone for liking Cheez-Its. Also. Don't say anything bad. It's fine. Kids at a chiropractor. It's fine. You're fine with that? Okay. All I'm saying is I'm just not letting my son get his neck snapped. That's just me. See you tomorrow. Of course. Thanks. Oh. What was that? Yeah. Email. Yeah. Email. Oh, f Sorry. We've seen this guy before and he just does very eclectic personifications. I guess the, the whole point is the rooster's offended that he's using an alarm instead of the... I'm into Got it. it. Christopher Underhill. Okay. Big fan. Took me a minute there. Yeah. A little longer than I'd like to admit. Oh, do you really have $20 or a spin on the wheel? The $20. Oh. And he's spinning the wheel. Let's see if you get it. see if you get it. Good spin. Great spin. Still going. <laughs> Nice spin, yep. All right, all right. Play tag with me. <laughs> tag your head. You gotta tag me. Stop! I like this game! Stop! <laughs> you're a lot scarier in person. You said you're a lot scarier in person, so they must know this guy. He's probably like a dude on campus. A local right? guy, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's getting a following going. The little goofball. Oh, yeah, he's very, very popular. Almost 700,000 followers. Holy smokes. Yeah. This is like, dude, I think about when I was in college, it must be such a different vibe now. Just kids everywhere, like, trying to make videos. What better place to try to become, like, YouTube internet guy or, like, Instagram by just, like, going around on campus with a f***ing meh, tell me something stupid or whatever. That's the or, guy that has X spin, amount of followers. Spin the wheel. Oh, let's see what you get. Let's see what you get. He does a lot of wheel spins, yeah. Woo! So he's got like the half shaven face, the half beard. You kind of become like a caricature of yourself. And I can relate to like the comedy piece. Like there's probably a part of this guy that's like deeply depressed and hates himself because that's just like normal and comedians wanting to like get popular and make other people laugh. The Robin Williams is of the world. I'm not putting him in the same classification as that. But there is oftentimes... You know what? Shut up, Leon. This isn't a philosophical video. Shut your this mouth. This is a funny just, TikTok video. Just watch your videos, you dumbass. Hello, Tol. Kamusta na dyan? Ayos ka lang dyan, Tol. People before face... It's just like a hole in the wall behind them. I didn't... You didn't know? Yeah. That's funny. It looks like a legit FaceTime. The bike was tired. Oh, no. <laughs> How? Just One tiny little... Came fully apart. Was it held together with, like, a glue stick? Yeah. You got it at a local bazaar. Excuse me, you guys are in my way. Thank you so much. Excuse me. Yes! Excuse me, ma'am. Can I tell you a secret? You're in my way. Thank you. Excuse me. Excuse me. Sorry. Thank you. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Who is this? How are you today? They're trying to be like Nick Ricardo. Excuse me. No, but like the team said, we're like having a look. Like, oh. a, yeah. Wait. Excuse me. Do you know I can find something for my perfect fit? Um, let's You're see. You're supposed what are we to say for? nothing because oh, I'm nothing. already perfect. Oh, thing. absolutely. Jesus. It definitely looks probably much funnier just from this camera angle because yes. you can't see the legs in front. Yes. Can you imagine walking like that? He's out. You just wrecked yourself. You know what? Injury timeout. I'm just gonna sit for the rest of the video. <laughs> Injury timeout. All right, you sit, I'll stand. Me when I show up to the kindest person competition, but my opponent didn't show up to let me win. I get it. Got it. Just a little... I just always love a good Breaking Bad meme. I, I do too, and this wasn't the one I wanted. Yeah. I love Breaking Bad so much. Yeah. <laughs> Should we rewatch it? Rewatch Breaking Bad? I'm not opposed to it, actually, we because could. That's a big we commitment. have been looking for a show. Yeah. Something binge worthy. And a lot of new stuff just isn't cutting it. There's a, we, we've had a few shows that have been good recently, but like once you get done with it, you need like that old show that has a ton of seasons that you can just binge on the days where, you know, if you're watching a new show, it's like 45 minutes and then you got to wait a week. Like, ain't nobody got time for that. Yesterday, scientists in the United States revealed that beer contains small traces of female. Female hormones. 
To prove their theory, they fed 100 men 12 pints of beer and observed that 100% of them started talking nonsense and couldn't drive. Oh my God. Mike and Joel, did he like type in a text to speech and then like walk in with it to his wife or something? I'm just, this must be, this must be like a, this must be like a thing they do. It's actually kind of funny if you get like a Bluetooth speaker, like type something and like walk in and say something You don't think that's him talking live. It's definitely like a talk to text speech thing. You don't recognize that voice? Sure. Yeah, Mike. You thought that was his real voice? Oh, God. That is like the quintessential AI t text to speech voice right there. And what was the point that women can't drive after they drink? Like, no, no, one can... just women can't drive. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, I can get and behind talk that. And senseless. Yeah, I can get behind that. I like Mike. Oh, I've seen this. You have? She's using, she's using a harmonica as a way to control the game. So. I'm wondering, is she still controlling it? <laughs> it's so stupid. Is it like actually or is she joking? There's software you can set up to use various unorthodox inputs to trigger stuff in the game. So in this case, it must be something that's sensitive to sound and her blowing into the harmonica makes her shoot. That's like a huge, I don't wanna say genre on Twitch, but there's been a lot of people that have made viral clips by beating difficult video games using like insane things. Huh. One guy beat Elden Ring with like a Guitar Hero controller. I'll do you one better. Board banana, back banana. Like if you know what you're doing, you can like rewire things okay. and just make different controls. I so, feel yeah. like I'm surprised you haven't done that yet. I mean, I'm clever with electronics and I like that stuff, but that's a little bit, depending on how advanced you get. Like okay. you can certainly like this, I could figure out how to set that up. There's also like same thing with streaming. You can set up software so that people can donate a certain amount of money yep. or a certain amount of bits and it will trigger something in the game. So like, for instance, if you're playing like Call of Duty and you're like in a very intense situation or like hiding or something, someone could donate like a hundred bucks and have it throw the frag grenade or something like okay. that. POV, Mrs. Lush sends Leon shopping. Oh, oh boy, boy, this could be a disaster. Not to the grocery store. Oh my God, yes, yes! Oh my God, with it. Yes! You love this. Holy crap. I'm in love. I mean, I can get behind that 100%. <laughs> the last time I did a legit shopping trip, it's oh been, it's been, years. it's been years. But the last time I what? did, you were like, why did that take so long? I was like, if I'm being honest, I walked from one side of the store to the other side of the store over 10 times. Yes. And I've said this before, but I have <laughs> I in idea. the past when I was like working no full time and had to send them to the store, sometimes I would write out a list and I'd be like, okay, use the right entrance to market basket, start at the dairy and make your way this way. And I would write the things in yeah. order. I'm like, all right, Our so if you get to the bread and you haven't yet grabbed the cheese, you've gone too far. Her lists were good because she would just go through the store in her mind and write things in order of the way I should find them. And I, of course, and he was like, this. I walk in, I like, I go immediately to the center aisle. I'm like, oh, cool, Cheetos. Then I'm like, what do I need on this list? Walk over there. I walk over there. I'm like, it's why do a, we have so many cookies? It's strictly a, an efficiency thing is why I don't go in those stores. It's just a disastrous waste of time when I have someone as proficient as you in my life. I do consider myself a professional. <laughs> yeah, I mean, once you have a family and you're just going to the store multiple times a week, you know that store better than you know your own house. And probably. I know when to go and it's not busy. Leon, after finding the second cake in the trash. Oh, bro, this the is team, a the team calls me out so hard. Back. Yeah. We haven't talked about this in a while. Well, when I ate the cake out of the trash. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's known it's, to go dumpster diving for. It, it was still in the box. It was a quarter of a cake. And she's like, we got to get rid of it. It's too much. We're not going to finish it. And I was we like, yeah. We had too much leftover I'll, dessert. Yeah. And I was like, sure. And sometimes I'm on board. It was mediocre in my opinion. Sometimes I'm on board. And so we throw it out like after dinner. We had already had a piece. I'm like, there's no way. And then I was having an episode, which I've talked about before, where I get, it gets late night and I lose episode. control of my faculties. And I binge sometimes. And I pulled the cake out of the trash and continue to eat it. And I stand here proudly in front of you. I think you should sit back down, actually. Admitting, yeah. <laughs> You should have had to sit uh, after that. <laughs> I'd like okay, you to I'm gonna play the video. I'm in this chair, please. Kind of like being right here, actually. You gotta click the sound when you nug it. Oh, f I'm fired. There we go. Let's just sound it. Oh no! See, this is different. See, this is coffee soaked like uh, bakery treats are delicious. Yeah, those look like biscottis or something along those lines. Oh yeah, those are. Oh yeah. And it keeps breaking off, but that's even better. Biscottis are really meant for dipping in coffee. Yes. Is that, in a, is that like an Italian thing? Oh yeah. You don't see it as much around here, but it's good. 
There was a small I period mean, of time where I was eating a lot of biscotti dipped in coffee. I don't know when that was in my life, but it was a long time ago. Me too, when I lived with my grandmother. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. When you lived with your there Sicilian never, grandma. There were never not a box of them around. They're the perfect consistency to dip in coffee. That one was clearly crumbling. Yeah. Problematic. Who the F airdropped this to me? <laughs> I love that. <laughs> yeah. I'm a fan. Just so good. You know, what are you going to do? These are just internet videos. There's nothing to Thinks say about that their backup camera isn't working properly. Looks That's good to me. Hey, yo, what the f Customer <laughs> states that their backup camera isn't working properly. That's got to be edited. It, it no has way. to be. Yeah. They, they moved it. Right? Right there. I don't know, the edit could have happened right during the door open, you wouldn't have known. That would be my guess. Definitely yeah. edited, yeah. Still funny though. Also, I'm not sure how I've looked without a backup camera. Should we go down this road? Oh. No, it's not really a road. You just, listen, backup cameras are very useful. Yeah. If we took your camera away and made you use your mirrors. It would suck. Disaster. I love the backup camera for when you're already like aligned the way you want to be and you just want to know how close you need to be to something. But the whole like using it to line up like turning into a space, that drives me nuts. I don't like it. But it's also something I've been doing for a million years. But I am glad to have the backup camera. Oh, it's nice. You and I'm you. very glad that you have a backup camera. Oh my gosh. Very glad. Uh. Do, 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 do. When the wife says she's mad at me and won't talk to me. Oh, I see. Oh, I, I missed. It. I missed the intro there. Same. Oh, he's tightening, tightening all the hard. lids, take the batteries out of the remote. Just the worst passive aggressive type of stuff. He stuff probably that, thinks that she can't figure out. Well, it's yeah, the dude's the stuff that the, what's dude, wrong. the dude fixes, right? Mm. There's a lot of stuff you have for me for and I'm happy to help. Right. Things that I could do, but don't need to. Could do. <laughs> hey, one time I went to Home Depot and found the right light bulb. <laughs> <laughs> Should I tell him about the process? The back and forth no, we had. It, stop it on our text thread yeah, I was to, talking about the to try and figure out color temperature ones. and lumens. There was maybe a 47 page text thread to try and find light bulbs that were similar to the ones. I was like sending the pictures. Ones were old, that's why, and they didn't exist anymore. I was giving you explainers on what lumens and color temperature was. I thought he was him. <laughs> oh, God. Just fake. That made a legit sound too. That would hurt really. Hey, they say that like sometimes visualizing it will help it manifest and that's what he was doing. Just try to do a better bath throw next time. The doctor said, Mr. Gray, there are a number of things happening in your body right now that if you do not change, your life is in danger. Bro, that is intrusive. A dude shouted him at it the worst time. That could be like a confirmation of, yeah, like you need to change yeah, yeah. to make your life better, right? I like that one. Bro fell asleep and woke up with an amen. <laughs> Actually, I've like seen, off and I've like, seen videos like that before too. Yeah. Say so like the old granddad just like, amen, amen. amen. Just coming like, I'm in. I'm here, out. I'm here. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Called him out. Thanks. Good night. Just never mind, man. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's a comedian. That congregation is huge, dude. This is some real Southern Baptist shit. I'm still blown away by how big these fucking mega churches are. I've never seen one in person. Well, because they're not really that big around here, right? Like, oh, they no, don't no, have no. huge churches like that no, no, around no, no, here. No. Like any Small. church I've ever been to in New England, like there's bigger churches, but the way they do that in the South is like, it's like a sporting event every Sunday. It's like you're watching the Dallas it's Cowboys. It's like buy but tickets you're a to a certain seat or something. That's what I'm Please. saying. How do you, you got to show up like five hours early to get in the pit? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Is there a VIP section with a bar? Like what's going on at these churches, dude? I have to stay here. The highest donators go <laughs> That's a fact. What's your tithing rate? That's how we, that's yeah, how we tell him, Jesus. Thank you. I would love to go down to one of those churches just to experience it. And I probably need saving, too, if we're being honest. So. What? Lift these up. What? You play too much. You always point what? Lift these up. Yeah. Mm. Oh, you're pretty strong. What, I gotta hold this? Uh-huh. All right, you strong? Okay. He's like, something about that. Yeah, yeah. Mm. 
I actually like that. Ariana. Ariana. That's a good one. That's like the water bottle one that's yes, just a little yes. played out, you know? That one makes a lot more sense. She executed it well, and he was I'd like to think I had the, ref the cat-like reflexes to stop the pie from hitting my face. You wouldn't. The second you put a po plate of whipped cream right here, I'm you're starting, to have, I'm starting to have questions. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to say you're going to intentionally start yeah, I'm it. I'm going to be in there before you cut the strings, just getting in there. I'm motorboating that plate of whipped cream. Put a little key lime on that Mm-mm. Uh-oh, uh-oh. What's this dude do? Wait. <laughs> oh my god, tackle him. Oh, now the kid thinks he's playing a game. Oh no, she goes down. Time. Some of these bridesmaids are like really not okay with this. Like she's getting after it. She just went, she just ate for this. She's like, give it back. Got, Maybe that's her got, kid or something. Got truck sticks, probably. I mean, not for nothing, but terrible throw by the bride. I mean, come I on. I mean, you throw him backwards. Still. I'm sure it made a lot of beautiful pictures, though, and everyone's happy. I wonder where that tradition started, actually. I'm curious. I wonder where a lot of these wedding traditions start. Is that one specifically, like, an American thing, more so? You know, like, every wedding has their own traditions, like the Jewish ones with the glass yep. stomping and all the stuff, and I'm sure Italians have their own stuff, and then there's the Catholic, based on your religion, there's a million different traditions. I like the one where you go to a restaurant and have a dress of peace and then have a nice dinner afterwards. That's my favorite tradition. Oh, yeah. Have you seen this? No, we were- I told you about this, didn't I? I've seen this or something like it. I think it was this. No, it was a different video from this guy. He was describing a house and he was talking in Gen Z lingo. Do you remember that? No. And he's like, yeah, this is a sk skibbity bathroom and like get all my G's players up. No, like no, he was no, being no. very. Yeah, I've seen something of like this, like something embarrassing. So she literally just took all the breath cuts and edited them together. I like it. This thing went rippingly viral on Instagram. It got like a hundred million views or something insane. And now this guy is probably selling more property than you him. know than anyone else in the business. That's yeah. This is the part of social media I love, like harmless, yeah. funny, it's stupid harmless. humor it's not that absolutely is going to outpace any sort of traditional marketing ever could have a chance of doing. Dude, they could edit together like just a little tiny thing of us just being like. Just being like silent or breathing. Welcome back, everybody. Dynamite intro. <laughs> oh. uh. <laughs> the laugh. That laugh's unreal. Did she straight just kick a leg out? Oh. I gotta see. Oh, did she I push her? Something there. Oh, I don't she know. did something, but she... It's cute. There's nothing funnier to a child than seeing someone fall. Uh-oh. Bro. Come on, dude. What is a backyard wrestling event? That is like the quintessential, I don't even know, Greek. Just hit you with a wooden spoon type grandma, like just the old school. Love it. I bet she makes a mean something though. What's the best part of your day? Mm, daily gratitude. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the best part of your Sorry, day? Sorry, I just... mm, Daily gratitude. <clears throat> Haley, hey. What's the best part of your day? What time is it? How do you practice gratitude? Journaling. <clears throat> How do you practice gratitude? What are you talking about? <laughs> what is your word for the day? Alignment. What's your word for the day? Go away. Favorite part of nature? Sunshine. Favorite part of nature? <laughs> None of it. Favorite ways to practice self-love? Be mm, right. Taking care of myself. Favorite ways to practice self-love? Who are you? Something you're passionate about and can't wait to share more of? Nutrition. Something you're passionate about? If that's not satire, that makes me want to die. The original video we're reacting to here. Oh, I don't know. Can't wait to share more of. My breakfast. What's for lunch today? A Buddha bowl. What's for lunch today? Hmm? You've never heard of it. Jesus. And what's next for form? 
You'll find out really soon. And what's next for you? That's not satire. That's, oh my God. Imagine making that and being like, this is, yes, this is how we're marketing our form. Probably some sort of lifestyle brand. Oh. You throw up in your mouth? Oh, yeah, I'm dying. What's next for form? You'll find out really soon. Yeah. And what's next for you? What? <laughs> Wait, what is a bootable? What was that? A bootable? Yeah. It's oh, like a bootable. Buddha I thought like a bootable, like a bootable hard drive. Buddha bowl. You guys know what I'm talking about. I think there's a lot of different ways to make them, but I've seen them with like some kind of grain, like rice or sweet potato, vegetables, maybe mm. spinach. Anything more pathetic than the word influencer. It does have such a negative connotation. I still associate illness or sickness with that word. It's such a negative connotation now, but there is, by definition, there's no question that people with large audiences have quite a bit of influence. Like the videos I've seen of people using that as some either a flex or using that as an excuse to get something for free or using it as a way to project that you are more worthy of something than other people around because you are an influencer. Yes. Oh my God, what about the f***ing lady the other day? Oh my oh, God. Oh, we don't even have time to get into this, but my wife saw a real life. We don't have time to get into it, but you're gonna get into it. Just because it was so long, but you saw a real life Karen at a local oh, coffee shop. Oh man, it was so good. This girl just was like drilling the employees at a local cafe. Long story short, she ordered an orange juice. It comes in one size. They ran out of the size cups that they normally put it in. So they put it in a larger cup, but didn't fill it. They gave her the same 12 ounces that they would if whatever. She was losing it about that cup not being full. It was like a huge like 20 ounce cup or whatever. Then she looks over to me for approval. And I was like, no, <laughs> no, they just ran out of the cup. Like, so they gave you the same amount. She lost it. She's like, I'm a local person that reviews food places. So I have to make a review about this. I have to make a review um, and everyone's gonna know not to come here. Okay. She went on and on and on and on. She was there for like 40 minutes. You were like literally I waiting in line. I waited it out like, because I wanted to see what was gonna happen, but ultimately I had to go to an appointment, so I left. You see these things on the internet and you're like, these people can't be real, right? Exactly, so for me to experience it in real life, I was like, oh sh she was, she was texting me while it was going on. I wish you were with me I so bad. God, I wanted to be there so I bad. wanted to say something and I wasn't going to I get involved. Have... But when she looked at me for approval and I flat out told her she was wrong, she then like she... turned her attention away from me. I like to think I would have choke slammed her through the counter and then gotten arrested for assault, but it would have felt good. No, I wouldn't have. Anyway, they I... filled up her juice cup and she still wanted something for free after that. I was like, this broad. Worse than calling yourself an influencer is calling yourself a local reviewer. Um, This is what I do. I go and I review places. I have to take a review. Uh, this is like taking everybody's uh, I would have literally just been like driving. I was uh, like, uh, I let out a little chuckle at one point. <laughs> Obviously. Man, God bless her. I hope she finds God because she clearly is deeply unhappy. Anyways, thank you guys for watching our video and for you stayed till the end for that little story. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah. We'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace.